so today's topic is child safety system we have covered earlier the heat resistant part and the airbag part types of airbags which is side torso second is your curtain and third is your frontal airbags then the working of airbag systems so it was it was uh, it contains airbag control unit which was a type of ecu that is electronic control unit and types of sensory which is used in it that is accelerometer impact sensor pressure sensor gyroscope brake pressure sensor occupant sensor etc then what was the chemical which was used in airbags that is sodium azide then how does it work it was given in ignition with the help of electricity that is from the battery then the volume of the gas increases and it inflates the airbag so this was all we have studied then we have studied the heat resistant that is automatically and manually and how it help us to improve uh, to prevent the neck injury then now we are going to study today's topic that is child safety system so this topic is not going to be asked you separately in the exam but it can be in, involved in passive safety so and it is not given in detail in your textbook so let's see it so first point that is only it has only one point it is specially designed seat to protect the children from injury or death during collision now see in india we don't use this child safety system or this seats we don't use generally people take their child on the lap while traveling but in usa or canada in this countries this seat is generally used so now let's see the image which i have put in here so here you see airbags warning label okay so as i have told you side torso airbags so similarly here it is airbag which is included in child safety system seats okay now the second points here harnesses slots okay there are three harnesses slots as you can see it is given here here these are the harnesses slots it depends how uh, big your baby is uh, this seat which is child safety seat system it is used for baby above uh, baby uh, till 6 years okay baby under 6 years use this seat so if the height of the children increases then these are the slots which are given to adjust the seat belts that is harness slots then here it is given harness chest slip so as i told you in 5 point seat belts used in child safety system in the lecture of belts seat belts i have told you 5 point seat belts so here are the harness chest slip then it comes see here it is given 5 point harness system okay so this is 5 point harness system there 1 2 3 4 and 5 in 5 point harness system or seat belt system one of the belt it comes from your lap between two legs this is the adjustment which is provided to the child now belt part belt part this picture is not given in this picture harness release mechanism so this is the harness release mechanism full strap to tighten harness so this is the pull strap which tightens the harness see if where after the baby has to slide from this belt and when baby is settled in the seat this is the pull strap which you have to tighten okay so this was all about child safety system it is not given in detail in your textbook okay now let's move to the next topic which is laminated glass yes. now next topic is our laminated glass so laminated glass is normally used when there is a possibility of human impact or where the glass should fall in shattered so when there is a impact the laminated glass is used to uh, the shattered uh, shatteredness that is when the glass shattered after the impact the laminated glass provides them the directions okay so laminated glass is normally used in possibility of human impact or where the glass should fall in shattered okay it gives the direction to glass to shatter or to fall laminated glass is 
also used to increase the sound insulation rating of a window. So now see there is two benefits of laminated glass. One, it gives the direction of glass to fall and second, it is also used to increase the sound insulation rating of a window. Okay. Where it significantly improves sound attenuation. See now lamination glass is used to their possibility to human impact or where the glass should fall. Then latent glass is also used to increase the sound insulation rating of window where it significantly improves sound attenuation. Okay. Then this glass protect the pedestrian from ultraviolet sun rays. Now this glass also protect pedestrian from ultraviolet sun rays. Now there are three uh, three uses of lamination glass. Okay, which are they? The first is it gives the direction to glass to fall. Which is the second? It increase the sound insulation. What is the third? The third is it protects the pedestrian from ultraviolet sun rays. So these are the three uses of laminated glass. This can be asked you for one marks or two marks, or even it can be asked you in MCQs. Okay. So child safety device and child safety system and laminated glass. These are all are included in passive safety. Okay, so we have finished the topic of passive safety here. So what was involved in passive safety? So it was the seat belt. Belt. Then the airbags. Then comes your head register. Restraint. Then comes your child safety system. Then your laminated glass. So these are all the points which are involved in passive safety. A passive safety question can be asked for 5 marks in which you have to write this all we have discussed. Okay, now let's move to the next topic which is vehicle interior and ergonomics. Now what is ergonomics? It is a human factor. How easily a human can use it ergonomics is okay let's move to the topic now automobile automobile ergonomics is a study of how automotive can be designed better for human use now see i have told you ergonomics that is human factor so how it can be better to use by a human or how it can be easily used by a human so automobile ergonomics is the study of how automobile that is automotive can be designed better for human use okay now this is the definition of automobile ergonomics you need to remember this i marked it in yellow okay now let's move to the next point which is since ergonomic consideration are taken before the accident the driver sitting position is the prime importance see now now in active safety and passive safety we have seen that sitting position head resistant head restraints these are all the important things of the driver because if the driver is comfortable in his seat then he can drive comfortably if he is not cons uh, comfortable then crash may happen so since ergonomic consider as before the accident the accident the driver setting position is the prime importance the drive the driver setting position is prime importance in that he has to use his eye to obtain at least 90% of information he needed for travel driving safely See, in that he has to use his eye to obtain at least 90% of information <coughs> in order to driving safely. Now, what is the 90% of information? So, first thing is in active safety, we have seen that 
the mirror of the front must be wide open and the driver must see everything what he want then comes the side mirror and then it comes to the rear mirror so from these all things from the front windshield mirror to side mirror and the rear mirror 90% of the driving information should be easily accessible to the driver because of which he can drive safely now as regard the position of seat itself this may be such that his view of scene outside the car is constructed as little as possible by components such as rear view mirror windshield mirror similarly his views at the instruments switches and other control must be clear so now windshield pillars so what are windshield pillars which attach our window and the windshield together in a corner of a vehicle that are the windshield pillars so many a times what happened because of the windshield pillars the uh, the vision of the driver is not clear so this is uh, this can have a impact on the driver and it may cause the crash or accident now because of so the design of the windshield pillar must be done in such a way that the, it is accessible for a driver to see beside that okay so and also the rear view mirror and the side mirrors are given with a setting so this can help the this can help the driver to easily access or easily see what he needed the information about to drive safely now the other thing which was mentioned in this point was the other options that is switches other controls that is ac music system if he is operating while driving then these all the controls or the instruments must be easily accessible to him it must not be in a different part so it must be easily accessible to him in the hand distance just in the hand distance so he can be easily uh, use it without any problem now at the same time he must be able to reach all his control easily so now as i have told you he must easily reach his all the controls with a minimum effort and without being distracted with a minimum effort and without being distracted so this can be done by giving different shapes to the different buttons or music uh, different section to the music system different section to the ac buttons so it can be easily accessible for him and he don't have to look around again and again to operate that instrumentations okay and for what is happening on the road ahead so he can be distracted from what it is happening on the road ahead it can be easily accessible for him to control that okay now see this is the important point which i am going to mark in this paragraph which is important to uh, you to write in exams okay now let's move to the next point what is our next point our next point is visibility of indicator and warning lamp under brilliant sunlight is consideration sometimes overlooked now visibility of indicator and warming lamp under brilliant sunlight now as you can see many of the times of uh, us warning lamps and indicators are on but during sunlight we can it is not easily visible or it is not visible easily chodo it is not visible even in the winter season due to the fog it is not visible the lights are not easily visible until the vehicle comes to a uh, short distance against a vehicle okay so if there is very less distance between two vehicles only it is visible so the visibility of indicator and warming lamp the quality of the warming lamp and indicator must be very provided very nice uh, the provided provision of this indicator lamps must be good okay now all control should be easy to operate and instruments and other indicator easy to read that is the aim in is at enabling the driver to remain relaxed 
now as i have told you in first point that all con all the controls which are on the dashboard was be easily operated the buttons which are provided must not be complex okay the operation must not be complex so they must be easily operated the instrumentation and indicators should be easily readed so even if the indication is given the indication must be easily readed okay now the rem so that the driver who is driving can remain relaxed and comfortable throughout his journey thus minimize his fatigue now how you will say how it will minimize his fatigue so mental fatigue he it will rely uh, relax his mental fatigue he don't always have to look to the dashboard to control control or to give indications that is if he has to turn right then he don't have to always look at the dashboard or the control board to give the signal to the right it must be ac easily accessible for him to give the signal to the right okay so because of this what will happen he will the, he will be minimize he will be minimum fatigue it will be provide him minimum fatigue to his brain or his head okay see it is given in here now we will next move to the next point it is also important that his view of the four corners of his car radar service to indicate the proximity of obstruction have been suggested <coughs> even if they could be afforded at expect at accepted cost their effectiveness in traffic moving at event at moderate speed now see first uh, during first period uh, that is uh, between 2000 to 2006 7 the radar system or the sensors were not provided actually so the driver have has to check his four corners of his car through uh, through his mirrors that is rear mirror and then side mirrors with the help of them he will uh, he get the information if his uh, cars all four corners are uh, separate or are not damaged or are not touching any object or poles etc but now in as i told you that technology is always increasing and it is gaining its speed so now let's see, take an uh, what we can say example of mg hector so now see in mg hector satellite is uh, satellite information is provided so whenever you are taking a turn whenever you are parking on your dashboard screen it is available that it is available your top view is available your side view of both side views are available your front and back views are available so because of which the driver gets the information of everything which he needs he gets the information of all the four corners even if you are going through the tra uh, traffic and the vehicle is passing by um, the car very ne uh, very nearly then the sensor start to be pip 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 that sense uh, that gives you the sense that something is passing to uh, from side of your car if it is too close it can harm or it can give you scratches on your car okay so it is important so this top at uh, this point you must read separately okay now next topic that next point that is driver rear view mirror is many instant fails to come the range of vision wide enough to include car overtaking from all possible angles on the nearest side the view through the mirror should include the nearer side wheels from chassis parking as well as road behind now see what is given in this point so the driver driver rear view mirror now what is the rear view mirror it is uh, provided on the top of 
driver seat okay it is provided diagonally to the top of driver seat now it instant fails to cover the range of vision wide enough to include car now all the car, its vision is not wide enough to include the car which is coming from behind to overtake us now okay now what is shown what is just shown in this mirror so in this mirror it is just shown the wheels of the car and chassis parking of the car which we can see in the rear view mirror so this is the point which we can only see in rear view mirror okay now what now what is given in general the mirror should not be so wide that they are in danger of being stuck by the mirror of passing passing car so now see the side mirror <coughs> if this is a car then the side mirror must not be so big it must not be outwards more outwards it must be compact okay so there uh, the joint is given whenever you are parking you you can adjust the mirror this is if this mirror is working right now then you can pass it here and you can close that mirror so this the adjustment is given by the manufacturers so that the mirror must not be out of the car too much then why what is the problem if the passing car if the pa car is passing by the by our car side then it may crash their mirror may crash in our car mirror and it will it may break okay then just at some point some points are raised here are relatively unlikely themselves to cause accident involving death or injuries they are relevant as regards to driver fatigue which can be serious consequence so now because of this many accident can happen because of this accident it may cause death or injuries now these these all things gives the driver fatigue which can have serious consequences which can have serious impacts on the driver as well as the person who has got the accident so now the last point so now the last point of this topic it tells us that okay driver fatigue is affected by other thing like climate in cold countries an electric seat warning system may be desirable but when it is very hot okay ventilation of a seat and squab as well as the saloon may be more appropriate air conditioning is very better and can remove the need for seat conditioning in any climate in hot countries air conditioning is generally regarded as essential and also interior heating and ventilation in cold countries conditions now see our last topic last point from this topic what does it said it is all about the weather conditions now as we travel towards in world weather conditions are different at different places at some cold places what is important so it is important to provide a heater in a car okay it is in cold countries whereas in hot countries <coughs> it is important to provide a air conditioning in the car now why so now as we have discussed seat is important so seat and squab is important there must be a certain ventilator provided in the car due to which the climatic condition in the car is easily is uh, what we can say it is it can be easily adopted by the human or as as per the ergonomics it will feel, uh, feel better the uh, human will feel better in that environment 
or wet atmosphere so this is the thing which must be provided in the car for the betterment of the human or the occupant in the car now next topic of ours is seating we have discussed earlier that sitting is important sitting position is important now we are at the topic sitting so for seat comfort pressure distribution is more in uniform over the cushion cushion okay for seat comfort pressure distribution is more in uniform over the cushion this call for measure of offset the natural tendency for pressure should be highest at the hip bones and lowest at the thighs and convex or tailbone now see the sitting position the seat must be in this way okay so that as the, uh, it is given this call for measure of seat the natural tendency of pressure should be highest natural tendency of pressure should be highest at the hip bone and lowest at the thigh and convex of the tailbone now the thing which i have marked is the most important you must write this point in your answer any time and underline this so that the examiner will understand that you have understood the sitting topic and you know all everything about it even though too high pressure under the thighs may restrict the blood circulation to the legs and thus lead to severe discomfort after a short period of the will okay now applying the too high pressure under the thighs what will it do it will restrict the blood circulation to the legs now see if the blood circulation is restricted to our legs that then it may cause you discomfort and then after some period of will that is after some time of traveling you you have you are uh, you are not comfortable then you have to take break and you have to get up okay on the other hand too little support in the region may cause strain and tiredness to the leg now too little pressure at that region may also cause the tiredness of the legs now see from this point what we have understood is the pressure must not be too high not it must be too less okay now uh, you must be knowing that special designing tools are used by the companies to design the seat and cushioning also okay so that is the difference for when you sit in wagon r and when you see sit in mercedes that is the difference between the comfort okay so many technology and cushionings are used to comfort the human or to comfort the occupant so this is the difference that is the high pressure and lower pressure between the legs thighs and different parts that is hip bones etc now the second point is the squab is the most important requirement for comfort from the lumbar region of the occupant support regardless of size size and this support must be adjustable now see the squab is the most important requirement why for to comfort the occupant okay the squab is the most important requirement to comfort the occupant on lumbar region and component support regardless of size and their support okay so this is also the one of the important point which you need to write in your answer not only this but the it should be adjustable for its size and shape okay hence an appropriate section of size and shape and position of lumbar support can also be reducing some of the pressure on the cushion so appropriate support to the lumbar can reduce the pressure on cushion cushion okay cushion ka jo 
पर का जो सब प्रेशर है वो रिड्यूस कर सकते हैं अगर हमने लूमर को अच्छे से सपोर्ट दिया तो ठीक है प्रोविजन फॉर एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ द एंगल ऑफ स्क्वाप इज हाईली डिजायरेबल बिकॉज ऑफ वेरिएशन इन द साइज एंड फिजिकल प्रोशन प्रोपोर्शन ऑफ ड्राइवर्स बाय एक्सेल एडजस्टमेंट दैट इज वर्ष वर्टिकल एंड लॉन्गिट्यूडनल सो वॉट इज बाय एक्सेल एडजस्टमेंट इज इज वर्टिकल एंड लॉन्गिट्यूडनल एडजस्टमेंट of the position of both seat and steering wheel can contribute significant comfort so now see driver changes so to physical properly of the driver's physical portion physical figure of the driver's also changes that is vertical and longitudinal adjustment that is by axial adjustment also changes so when it is changed so it must not get tough for the second driver to adjust on the seat he must also feel comfortable so this is the reason why squab is highly desirable so so squab is the most important requirement for comfort from this you will know get to know squab is the most important desire for comfort so these are the two three points which have marked are important and write it in your answer okay so now we will move to the next point what is the next point <clears throat> for preventing the wish plus injury of the spine in the rear and impact the conversional head here this is not fully effective because the spine may be affected throughout its length so the shape of restraint forward by the whole seat back is relevant relevant hence the seat designer should be concentrating on the following points now not only the position at which we keeps our hips is important but also the position at what we relax is also important for giving the comfort to the spine now these are the some points which can give you the effective relaxation for the spines and now uh, and also you have you must have known that spine is one of the important thing in human body if the spine is damaged then um, much of what we can say problem arises to the human back okay so now what are the uh, what we have seen for prevention of wish plus injury of the spine in the rear and impact of the conventional here dest <coughs> headrest is not fully effective because the spine may be affected throughout its length so the shape and distance of what the whole seat back is relevant so not only this portion of the seat but this portion of the seat excuse me this portion red portion of the seat must also be designed very properly so that the your spine may rest there and no difficulties will be faced by the spine or there must be no we plus injury in your spine so what are the points you must consider during the design seat design it is given here let's see what are they first first is controlling controlling realizing controlling resilience of the squab cushion and installed a new recliner system to reduce the severity the rear end impact pulse of the spine so now see new recliner system to reduce severity rear end impact pulse on the spine okay Re then the second point is reduce the minimum moment of all the parts of the spine relative to each other by providing good support from the base tight of the spine to head now 
minimum movements how it can be done by providing good support from the base tight up the spine to head now what is the third point third point is reducing to the minimum the forward rebound of the occupant from the seat into the seat belt now forward rebound of the occupant from the seat belt must be minimum okay the rebound must be minimum so these are the three points you always need to remember in the designing of seats that is automobile ergonomics so from this these two points these points and these three points are to be remembered by you to score a good marks in this topic now let's see what is the pedal control so pedal control pedal arrangement can have significant effect on driver fatigue as well as directly cause accident so pedal arrangement is also important as it can affect the driver's fatigue and because of which accident can be caused to enable the driver to definitely easily between the brake clutch and accelerator control the pad on the accelerator pedal should be position right foot when resting in its natural position so now see the driver must be easily accessible to brake clutch and accelerator for control so controls the pad of the accelerator pedal should be position to the right foot when resting in the natural position see so this is why it is uh, in the right foot and they must be designed so that the driver is easily accessible has easily access on them it should be slightly convex so that the driver can operate his foot easily depressed so it should be slightly convex okay the shape of the pedal should be slightly convex so that the driver can operate his foot easily and depress the pedal with jess friction between the sole of his foot and pedal so the maintain of steady throttle opening when needed so now here it comes to the design part it must be slightly convex okay so why why so that driver can easily foot foot easily depressed the pedal with just friction between the sole of his foot and the pedal to maintain the steady throttle opening now the range of angular momentum must be large to avoid jerky operations of the throttle and should be linearly progressive and proportional to the throttle opening okay the range of angular momentum must be large to avoid jerk so this again come under the design section and the throttle and should be linearly progressive and proportional to the throttle opening now see from this pedal control what you have seen everything mark in red is important so understand it and then write it in exam these are the few points which if you learn in code words or we can say that just remember the important words from this paragraph and then you will be easily able to write okay so we have control pedal control then we have con we have completed seating and we have completed vehicle interior and ergonomics now in next lecture we will have nvh okay now what is nvh we will have the lecture on first we will have the lecture on dashboard and then we will have the lecture on nvh that is noise vibration and harness thank you